So this video is about the smallest ever TTL programmer made by us that will help you to program almost any of your microcontroller board, module or chips that you have. So this is our smallest TTL programmer which is just around 20 by 20 mm in size and here is our previous universal TTL programmer for size comparison. It is really very very small but still help you to do all your day to day uploading tasks. Let me show you a quick demo. So I'll first try to program the ESP01 model with this and I made all the connections required for this board and when I hit the upload button. After a couple of seconds, as you can see, the code started uploading on the board and once it gets uploaded, I can visualize the data printed straight on the serial monitor. Amazing, right? So this is kind of a must have tool for your electronics lab and the good part is we are also selling it through our website, whose detail I'll share you by end of this video. So just stick around with this video to know our journey about how we made it and how you can get one for your lab. Let's get started. Before starting the video, let me tell you one really interesting and useful feature of our sponsor LTM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as design review. Using LTM, you can add any member to your project and after that, they can highlight any fault in the schematic or can report availability of components in the inventory on the PCB to your designer so that they can visualize this component and can work upon it to provide a smooth flow of PCB production even if they both are in any corner of the world. So that's the design review feature and even you can try out this and many other features of LTM for free by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description as you'll be getting an access to free trial version using that link. Now let's start with our video. So this all started when we made our first programmer which was Universal TTL Programmer and the most common feedbacks we got after uploading that project was first of all its size was a little bit bigger as compared to the other programmers available in the market and also it was using the micro USB port and not a type C port which was not expected in 2022. So we tried to solve both the problems and we came up with the smallest ever programmer that has the type C port on it and let me tell you it was not that straightforward as we first need to study about type C port in detail because that is quite different as compared to a micro USB port. So we started studying about the 16 pin USB port and after that we first got a breakout PCB for it so that we can make a demo project first before going for the PCB. After that, this time we used a different programmer IC than before which was CS340C just because this version of CS340 doesn't require an external oscillator which was required in the previous version which was based on CH340G. So we got the breakout PCB for this IC as well and made all the connections on a general purpose PCB. And after successfully programming a couple of microcontroller boards using that general purpose PCB, we were ready to go for our own custom designed PCB. So we designed our own PCB for this programmer and this time as we wanted to make it as small as possible, we used all SMD components here and that too with 0603 package size. So after designing the PCB, we gave its order directly to JLC PCB. Now even you can try ordering your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB by following very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project. After that select the number of PCBs and color masking. Well this time I went for the black color masking. After that I also ordered a stencil along with the PCB to make our soldering process a bit easier. After doing all this just place your order and if you select the fastest delivery option you may get the PCBs delivered at the doorstep within a week. So here are the PCBs and trust me it is very very tiny and the black color mask looks really amazing. We also got this stencil with the order which by mistake of our ordering process came in a very large size. So you can go for JLC PCB for your PCBs and stencil related orders and not only that JLC PCB also provides the 3D printing service and SMT assembly service as well whose link I'll be attaching down in the description of this video. So do check them out. So after receiving the PCBs now is the time to shoulder all the components. After shouldering all the components, here is a ready PCB of our smallest programmer. Neat, tiny and really very useful. So now before moving to the programming part, you need to be very careful about two things before using this board. 
First thing is you need to select the voltage level on which the programmer should run. So there are two pads given at the back of the PCB, one for the 5 volt and another for the 3.3 volt. So you just need to shoulder that particular uh, voltage level based upon which microcontroller you are programming. So here I have shouldered a 3.3 volt lag as I will be programming all the microcontroller boards based on 3.3 volt logic. And second thing, you need to have the CS340 driver installed on your system, otherwise the port won't be shown up on your computer. I'll leave the link of that driver down in the description of this video. Just click that link, download that driver and install it on your system. Make sure you restart your computer after you install the driver to make everything work. So now let's just move ahead and try to program a couple of microcontroller boards. So first I went for this ESP01 board and made the connections according to this connection diagram. Now here is the blink LED sketch and I have already selected the right board and port so I'll directly hit the upload button. After a couple of seconds as you can see the code is uploaded successfully and if I open the serial monitor as you can see we are getting the data on the serial monitor. So it's perfectly working fine. But it's not like it can program only ESP based controller, it can also program the Arduino based controller as well. So this time I went for the Arduino Pro mini board and made the connections with that programmer according to this connection diagram. And here also I tried uploading the LED blink code and after selecting the right board and port I just click the upload button and after a couple of seconds the code gets uploaded and here we can see that LED is blinking rapidly. So it works for Arduino board as well. Now let's try uploading using a Windows system. So this time I'll take the ESP32 chip and I'll connect with my programmer according to this connection diagram. Now here once again I'll go with the LED blink sketch and after selecting the right board and port and hitting the upload button, the code gets uploaded successfully and also we are able to see the data on serial monitor. So this single programmer will help you to program couple of microcontroller boards quite easily. Isn't that amazing? Well do click the like button if you are already in love with this project. So now if I tell you about how you can get one for yourself, well, we are selling this complete programmer at a very amazing price through our website whose link is down in the description of this video. So you can definitely purchase it from there. And also we are selling the type C USB cable as well that is supported with this programmer. And when I say it is supported with this programmer, that means there are a couple of type C cables which are not recognized by this programmer. For example, the uh, USB type C cable that comes along with my MacBook Pro uh, doesn't support this programmer, but the cable that comes along with the Vivo mobile phone charger is supported in this programmer, okay? So it's totally your choice, but still if you go for the cable that we are selling with this board, uh, you will be like ensured that it will work flawlessly, okay? So link of both the products are down in the description. Go ahead, get one for yourself to make your programming task a lot easier, a lot tinier. So yeah, that was all about the smallest DTL programmer. I hope you like this project. I hope you like this tool. And I hope you'll get this tool for your electronic lab, which looks really very cute, okay? Uh, do drop your suggestion thoughts down in the comments of the video. And also I'm planning to make the type C version of the universal TTL programmer by adding a couple of more features in it. Should I do that or not? Well, do let me know your thoughts and also suggest me what should I add in that and what should I remove from that? Let me know in the comments of the video. The comment section is open for our conversation. Well, yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video in the next explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.